performed in this wide gap of time since first we were dissevered, hastily led away. Ah, oh, I've finally done it. I've completed my goal of reading all of Shakespeare's plays in alphabetical order. Now, how long did that take? What, what time is it? Uh, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no wonder I'm so hungry. I have a new intro because I got sick of the old one. Oh my God. Mm. Oh, I love this happen, I'm so young. Oh. So let's take a look at the books I acquired in my absence, why don't we? Let's start off with the stuff I've already read. First up is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I think I'm gonna do a review of this, uh, mostly because everyone seemed to really love it and I mostly thought it was okay. Descending opinions! They're important. I think that most people know what this one's about, but if you don't, creepy children, special powers, found photographs. I also picked up Allegiant uh, by Veronica Roth, the final book in the Divergent trilogy, the day that it came out because I wanted to finish up the series. I'm definitely going to review this one because I reviewed the first two and I want to, you know, finish that up and also I have a lot to say about it because uh, I liked it, but like the more that I think about it, the less I like it. I don't know. I have a lot of complicated feelings about the series as a whole. So, yeah. Next up is stuff I haven't read yet. Oh look, it's shiny and full of promise. This is Ring of Fire by J.R. Roberts, which is apparently the 281st entry into the Gunsmith series. My friend Haley uh, bought this at a dollar store of some kind, I'm pretty sure, and then tossed it at me and demanded that I review it on this channel because she's pretty sure it's gonna be terrible. And I've read the back and I'm pretty sure she is correct in that assumption. So apparently that's happening because I agreed to it. I may have been drunk at the time. Next up is Weimar Culture, The Outsider is Insider by Peter Gay. My friend Anna was getting rid of a bunch of books and told me to go through them and see if there was anything that I wanted. And I was like, I want the nonfiction book on a 20th century German culture movement. Yeah. So this is all about the Weimar Republic which was a period in Germany between the two world wars where there was this like weird explosion of art and culture. Three Penny Opera, that's from this time period, Bauhaus, uh, Christopher Isherwood. Uh, if you've seen the musical Cabaret, that is set in this time period. But yeah, try nonfiction about Germany. Woo! And finally, I have Bel Canto by Ann Patchett. So my favorite local used bookstore um, moved a little while back to a new building and I hadn't been yet and I was hanging out with my friend Anna who you may recall from the anecdote surrounding the previous book. And we were both like, have you been to the, the new location of that bookstore yet? No, ah, we should go. We're not gonna buy anything. We're just gonna look. Arr, that worked out well. Their new location is super cool, by the way. It's set up in this like tiny old house. So you just have to like wander through rooms to find things like a maze, it's so great. So I did not plan to buy anything on that trip, but I have been wanting to read Belcanto for a very long time. And there were two copies of it in the bookstore, so I was like, okay, I should buy this. The universe is telling me to buy this book. So this takes place in South America and it's all about an opera singer, but also about a hostage situation. Awesome, right? And it won the Penn Faulkner Award and the Orange Prize, so yeah, literature. So that is everything I have to show you. If you have read any of these books, I would love to know your non-spoilery thoughts in the comments below. And I will see you soon. I promise, you will. I missed you guys.